Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Spot. Uh, so this video today, this little vlog style video is going to be talking about summer camps. Uh, summer camps for people with low vision or total blindness. I went to one when I was young, uh, when I was a teenager, and I loved it. It was awesome. So I, you know, I recommend if anyone has an opportunity to go to a summer camp as a kid or a grown up, um, definitely do that. Uh, I'm from North Carolina originally, and in Raleigh there's a school called the Governor Moorhead School for the Blind, and they offer summer camps where you can go and you can stay on campus and do events. And um, so I did that my junior, senior year, my summer, the summer between my junior and senior year of high school, I went to this camp. And it was awesome. Uh, you know, for the first time in my life, I was around other kids that were like me, other kids with low vision, uh, total blindness. There was even hearing impaired and wheelchair bound. And I mean, there was all kinds of, of kids that ran the gambit of handicaps. But for the first time, I was around people that could relate, people that understood what it was like to be me. And it was awesome. We had so much fun. I met a just a real cool group of guys. That's actually the first time I met uh, another kid with star darts other than my sister. Um, there was a kid there with star darts and so that was really cool. It was just so much fun. They had a swimming pool there. We got to eat in the cafeteria. You know, it was the first time in my life that I was away from, from home for, for an extended part of time. So it just was a lot of fun. So when, I, when that camp was done and I came home, the school also has, it's a, it's a full-time school, so they have classes during the year. Um, it's a full kindergarten through high school school. So when I came home after the camp, I said, I want to go to this school. My senior year of high school, I'm done with public schools, and I had been going to a private school actually for, for a year, and I was just, I wanted to go to school with my peers, with people that were like me. So I convinced my parents to let me. Um, I had already gone to, to three other high schools, <laughs> so adding one more wasn't that big of a deal. I, I, we moved around a lot, um, and so I went for my senior year, and it was awesome. I just, the best time. The way it worked is we would go to the school and stay on campus all week long, and then go home on the weekends, but it was just awesome. Lived in a dorm with all my friends, and I had a roommate, my best friend at the time was my roommate, and we just had the best time. Once a week, we had a, a, an excursion night where we would go out to a mall or a movie or, you know, putt-putt. Um, we went rock climbing one time, you know, it was just so much fun. I really recommend if anyone has the opportunity to go to a summer camp or a school for the blind or a school for the deaf, you know, really do it. Um, if you parents, if you have kids and you're thinking about this option, they're really going to benefit from it. I think for me personally, that helped me a lot with my vision, uh, with dealing with my vision impairment and realizing that here are all these other people that are like me. And you know what? It's fine. It's okay. It's nothing to be ashamed about. I shouldn't be ashamed. These people are amazing people who are confident in their impairments, and I should be too. Um, it also helped with going out into the community uh, with these other people, and you kind of get that, we're here, deal with us, uh, you know, we're loud and proud mentality. Um, you know, not obnoxious, of course, but like, this is us. There's nothing we, sh we need to be ashamed of. Deal with it. <laughs> and that's kind of how I've, I've been um, ever since. They also had a couple uh, houses on campus, small houses, um, just like a living room, kitchen, and a bedroom, kind of like a, a small one bedroom apartment house. Uh, they had two of them, and it was for independent living. Um, you could take a course and you would go live in this house for a week, stay in this house for a week, and it was still on campus, like I said, so you could, you know, the, the house parents and the dorm parents would come and visit, and um, the teachers would come and visit, but you would stay in there and you would learn how to live independently. You would have to take care of your space, you'd have to cook, 
uh, once a week you would go on a shopping trip and you had to you know manage your budget and um, figure out what you need for the house what you needed for the house and purchase that stuff and then come home and clean and cook for yourself and now for me I had already moved out of my house um, I was already living with my sister in, in an apartment I was already doing this stuff so it wasn't that big of a deal for me but for most of those other kids they had never been away from their parents other than going to this school so it was really awesome a really awesome idea and um, a really awesome class that you could take to get you ready for getting out there on your own another great thing about this school was they had sports uh, and I'm gonna talk about I'm gonna do a whole nother video about this one sport that they had that I loved and it was great so hang out for that but they had a cheerleading team, um, so these, you know, totally blind cheerleaders, it was just awesome. Um, they had a wrestling team, they had this other one, um, they had a swimming team, I mean, just really inclusive of, of the students, you know, and, and trying to provide a lot of different opportunities for them to have a normal school life and, and a fun ex school experience. They had proms, you know, my senior year I went to the prom, brought my girlfriend from, from my hometown. It was just great. I can't say enough good things about that school in particular, the Governor Moorhead School for the Blind in Raleigh, but just those institutions in general, those, those camps for, for uh, handicapped kids or schools for the blind, schools for the deaf, I, you know, I just I really support them. So like I said, guys, if you had the opportunity to go to one of these things, absolutely do it if you have the opportunity to send your kids to it definitely do if you're a kid and you're you're thinking about it or maybe thinking it's not going to be that much fun or you're not going to get anything out of it i guarantee you you will you definitely will um just to be around other kids like yourself who know what you're going through can relate it really makes a difference you won't regret it <laughs> all right guys well that's it for me in this this vlog hopefully it wasn't too long this is sam with the blind spot as always hit that like button helps out the channel hit the subscribe button if you aren't subscribed already i put out videos pretty regularly and let me know down in the comments if there's anything you want me to talk about but that's it for me guys i'll see you later